What's up everybody? In this episode we're gonna continue where we left off from the previous episode and uh, we're gonna enhance our audio system and also complete the part where we have to handle the already finished audios and also play music. Let's go! So from the previous episode we landed in a place where we play the land sound effects. That sounds so weird. So whenever we jump, as soon as we land, we we instantiate a game object with a landing and effects that plays the sound once, and that's it. So what we're gonna do this this episode is make sure that this sound gets deleted as soon as it finishes. And to do this, uh, there's one simple way is to check when the sound has stopped playing and then delete it. To do this, we have to actually attach a script to this game object in here, and let's call it let's call it kill sound. Okay, now why? Because that makes much more sense. So one of the stuff that actually uh, we need to do in here is hello. Yep. Yeah, okay. We need to get a reference. Oh no, we have to delete these comments. We need to make a reference of the audio clip. Because what we need to do is, I'm going to go back in here. We need to get a reference of this audio source, and then check all the time if it stops playing. And as soon as it stops playing, we're going to delete it. With this, we make sure that we have no, you know, unused or unneeded game objects, which, which is not going to cause any problems to our memory. So actually, I, I made a mistake. Audio source. Let's name it source. Okay. And we can reference it by by, access, by accessing it on the start method, get component audio source, and that's it. So one of the stuff we have to do here is we have to check if source is playing. So we want to make sure that it's not playing. So we have to put exclamation mark before. So as soon as it's not playing, let's debug, call it, let's put the name of the game object stopped playing okay and then we destroy it this is simple so we do it so we have let's delete unneeded stuff in here so that's it so this is a game this is a script that accesses access has an access to the audio source and checks when we like when the audio stops playing and as soon as it stops playing it destroys it that's it simple as that so what we need to do we need to add it in here let's add this one kill and uh, let's bring our fox down. So let's give it a test. So what's going to happen here is as soon as we jump and fall down, the sound should play. Oh, I should set the, the boundaries properly. I think I've messed this part. Did it? Oh, yeah. It should be less, probably one or point eight or zero minus zero five. Yeah, it should be minus point five. Yep. So let me fix this minus point five. Okay, good, good. So I'm going to show you the example right now. Let's ignore the initial one because he jumps down. So what we're going to see is this one, the game object that has the manager, the audio manager. So let's, I'm going to jump, and we're going to see it here. It played. You'll be wondering why it hasn't been del deleted as soon as it finishes playing, but it actually did not finish playing because the landing sound effect is two seconds long. See, it's uh, that's why. So that does this thing. So this is fine. So as soon as it finishes, it goes off and it says stop playing. Great. So if we have this thing done. And uh, what we can do, we can just delete the debug statement from here. And uh, we have ourselves a proper sound effect mechanics. Simple, but can be proved if however you want. The next thing we need to do is we need to make a music one, right? So uh, I'm gonna have to make something else in here. So. Uh, I want to make sure that I put them both in the same place, but I'm going to avoid this for now so it will become much more simpler for us. So let me duplicate these two stuff. 
so we have this called play music okay and we call it music name I'm gonna pass it in here and then so far we have only one music thing we have here right we have music TikTok it's not the TikTok TikTok it's just a TikTok sound yeah? but again uh, we have errors here because we have the same method here and here so I'm gonna change something here called music object creation okay that will make it more known or differentiations so let's go make TikTok here so what's gonna happen it, we're gonna we're applying the same thing in here but what we're gonna do is something different in here is before we play the sound we're gonna make sure that the sound is loopy right make the audio source loopy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to access the audio source from new object that okay, component audio source dot loop equals true so that's it that's the whole thing and because it's looping the game object won't get you know deleted right that's for that so what we're gonna do here because a lot of sounds can be played in different places what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the sound as soon as we start the game and let's let's choose a place to play it so let's go to the fox himself you know what let's go from the fox here and uh, actually I'm uh, I'm gonna do it in a different way I'm gonna make it different because I don't want to modify these things these things are not supposed to be tampered with so I'm gonna create a button okay a button Wait, what? I did. I, I I hit something. Okay, I'm I'm confused here. Environment. Oh yeah, I think I should hide this part. Okay, good. That's good. So let's go to the UI. I'm gonna put a button. Let's put it in here, and name it Start TikTok music and uh, tick tock okay so one thing we can do from here we can go to the events of on click drag drop the audio manager and go to audio manager and then play music and that's right tick tock okay that's you don't have to do this what you need to do is you need to call that music from whatever you want let's say you have a game manager right you have game that, that controls the whole game okay you are going to do is you can go to that game manager and in that game manager you can uh, go to the place where you start the level and in that place you can call audio manager that instance that play music and then you can go start uh, music you know something like this and then you will have your own and then you have your own uh, uh, here you have your own music clip and then you, you create different uh, conditions in here and you can go on with everything similarly so since this is like happening like this I'm gonna go and start the game and as I said we shouldn't worry about uh, bit the sound gets like getting deleted because it's gonna be random sorry looping so like right now we've got this sound it's, it's looping all the time which is fine like uh, if this was not a TikTok or like a an annoying sound it would be much fun and uh, yeah I have to stop this <laughs> okay so that's good so we have ourselves a way of playing music and audio at the same time so playing audio is not a problem, right? Like even uh, if you play ten audio at the same time, it's gonna be fine. But music is uh, it is where you're gonna have to do some work. And by that I mean, let's say you're playing a level that's gonna have multiple sounds, right? Like multiple uh, ambience. Let's say you're in the desert, or so. Like let's go. You're in a jungle, right? And you play the spooky music, and then in after a while you enter the house. So you wanna change the ambient to this from the whole you know owl sounds and wolves into a, a creaky old house sound 
So one way of doing this is, let me explain this. We have the sound system here, right? We have the audio manager, so it's called Colby AM. It has a list of SFXs and a list of audio. So as soon as we play music, we start. We make a game object. We have a game object with the sound, right? And it's playing. When it's SFX, it just plays and goes off, no problem. But when it's audio, it plays and remains. So what we need to do, we need to make a reference of the object itself. So what we have to do, we have to, whatever we play in audio, considering that you want to play only one audio at a time, right? Like one ambient, which is by def what happens in a lot of games, a lot of simple games. We need to actually make sure that we have a game, we have a game object reference in here inside the script that's empty now, as soon as we play in a, a music we're gonna play this game object music in a looping mechanics and we're gonna reference it in a script so we know that okay this one is playing and we can access it from this as soon as we play another sound we delete this which is basically this git yo and we make a new one right that's how it's gonna be simple as it is so what I'm gonna need to do I need to find another sound that can be looped okay yeah I should have gone should have gone a proper okay let's go with this yeah I'll use this one uh, boop no boo -boo. okay it's just called boo boo you know what it doesn't matter the name at this at this stage because we're just using for this for the tutorial so what, I, what I'm going to do in here is uh, I'm going to add it in here, call it music bobo, okay? So let's create the reference that we talked about. Current music music object, okay? And let's just make it uh, let's just make it public so we can see current music object. Let's just keep it plain and descriptive. So we want to make sure that if there's a music object existing, we're gonna need to actually destroy it. Okay. So what we're gonna do here? We're gonna go. Have to make a check. Check if there's an existing music object. If so, delete it. So we're gonna go if uh, current music object. So if we do this check only, this means if this one equals equals true, which means there's something like it's not empty. So when it when it when it's like this, actually I don't have to make curly brackets. We're gonna go with destroy current. Yeah, that's it. So this will run only if there's a sound before this. And then what we're gonna do instead of calling this part we're gonna have to reference it to the current music part so we're gonna just change the naming in here and have this set up as it is let's create a reference for our boo boo sound make the break and we can call it in here so let's make let's have another button that plays that second music tick tock and start boo boo. Let's go boo boo. And it should call it should call this same method but give a different parameter. Okay. Let's give it a test. So right now we got no audio playing. If we click TikTok, it's gonna be playing. But uh, it's gonna have an error because I did not reference this. So let's go here and make. Oh, okay. Let's play TikTok. So we have ourselves the TikTok music and it's playing all the time. So if I click Bobo, it's gonna delete this object and make the Bobo music. Yep. That's it. So with this, we have ourselves a simple audio system. We can play sound effects. Uh, with one iteration and then a, a looping music 
and uh, if you like this episode please hit the like and subscribe otherwise uh, give me more questions in the comment below and uh, I'll see you one see you guys in the next one bye bye